good day everybody and today we're going to be working on the metal chasing fixing this bear up polishing it making it look super good making it look better anyway I tried to use my coping saw that I use for trim work, but it's not really made for cutting metal. So I cut off the sprues and what I would like to do is melt this metal into these voids to fill it in because I know the alloy is the same. I know the color is going to match. I don't have a way to do that right now, but what I'm going to try is silicon bronze MIG welding wire. I'm going to test it on the plug to see how different the color is to see if that's going to work. Probably not, but I'm going to try. So I put a bead on my plug and ground it down, and the color is a little different, but it's pretty close, so I'm gonna try to MIG weld it. So I took a bronze heart and figured I'd practice on that, but I realized really quick that a copper-based metal is very different than a regular steel. And being that I have no welding experience, just general troubleshooting is hard enough. The metal didn't seem to blend with the heart at all. It just kind of pooled on top, but got to the point where I felt like I could at least use it to fill in the voids. Perfect. So MIG welding isn't going so well. So I got the bear in the vise, and my goal is you just lay some metal into this void, fill in these holes, lay some metal, into that void and then put the texturing back in later. I can tell you right now, TIG welding is not the best way to do this. I just hope I don't destroy the thing. Now if you're an experienced welder or an experienced metalsmith of any kind, please just skip this part of the video. I'm embarrassed to show you what I'm doing. Also, it turns out using a cotton glove for padding is a bad idea. <coughs> also, for you MIG welders out there, why does this keep happening? Did a bad thing I regret the thing I did And you're wondering what it is I'll tell you what I did I did a bad thing So I know it looks bad and that's because it is, but I can fix it. I really wish I would have covered this in aluminum foil or something because all this spatter got everywhere made a mess. I can fix it. I think the main thing is now I have metal to work with before there was no metal there now there's metal there so with enough filing and detail work I think we can still make this into something cool we're still okay it's still okay I was able to knock some of the spatter off but some of it was stuck on there so hard I had to file it you'll see PPE is always important. Now begins the grinding to try to reclaim the shape of the bear. After that, I'll do my best to put the hair detailing back into the metal. As usual, this is not a how-to video. 
I've never done this before. In a lot of cases, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm simply documenting my journey of learning. That's starting to look a little better, eh? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a wire, wire wheel and I'm gonna just buff over the whole thing to blend in the textures. Try to. Here's where we're at. We got the metal chasing pretty much done. I've never done that before, so that's a good learning experience. But at my skill level, I think this is about as good as I'm gonna be able to make it. And I think it's looking okay. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was for sure. So we got a few things left to do with this. We gotta patina it. I've never done that before. We gotta put it on a base, make it all pretty. So one more video. Thanks for coming this far with me. If you want to see the next one, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.